Today in series of Doplexis KL interviews, we have with us Dr. Akshay Jain, who's an eminent endocrinologist practicing at the Vokhaz Hospital in Mumbai. Dr. Jain has won the Rising Star of Diabetes Award by the Indian Academy of Diabetes at the International Symposium on Diabetes 2017. Dr. Jain is also India's only doctor with triple board certification by the American Board of Endocrinology, Obesity Medicine and Internal Medicine. Thank you, doctor, for the interview. Thank you for having me here. So let's begin with the first question. Sure. Uh, being involved in clinical trial of uh, various glyphosins, what is your opinion about their safety and efficacy in diabetes patients? I think the SGLT2 medications, commonly known as glyphosins, have completely changed uh, the way we have been managing type 2 diabetes. Uh, it's really a very good addition to our armamentarium of uh, you know, medications available for type 2 diabetes medications. And the whole idea was previously we would have to either focus on efficacy or safety. Um, you know, if there is good A1C reduction, then there would be the risk of hypoglycemia with oral agents. But with this medication, we are able to get good efficacy without the risk of hypoglycemia. And at the same time, there is reduction of both fasting and postprandial blood sugars, unlike the gliptins or DPP-4 inhibitors. And more importantly, you know, it's very, very beneficial for our metabolic syndrome patients so yeah, uh, uh, being able to address their hyperglycemia at the cost of uh, you know, no hypoglycemia and reducing their weight, uh, not just that, you get reduction with blood pressure also. So it's really changed the way we've been managing type 2 diabetes. It's, um, new data suggests that even for patients with cardiovascular diseases, uh, they help actually prevent future heart attacks, strokes, and cardiovascular death. So probably a very good shot in the arm for the diabetes community. Uh, so moving on to the next one, what are the benefits of concentrated insulin products? So that's again a very good development that we have had in the past few years. Uh, insulin has been around for almost 100 years now, and it's one of those things that is still constantly being revamped and you know, looked into. Um, I think that the concentrated insulins are one of the best developments in the insulin realm because uh, a lot of patients, when they take the injection, so it's a fluid that is introduced in the subcutaneous region. So you're introducing something in the body mm. which was not there previously. Mm. And it has to create a place within the body, right? So when the patients take the injection, the fluid goes into the subcutaneous region. It kind of pushes around the tissues, and that leads to some discomfort as well. Okay. Especially the more the dose of insulin, the more is the volume of fluid that is being injected, and hence there'll be more discomfort. Yeah. So concentrated insulins allow us to give the same dose of insulin in a much smaller uh, d uh, volume, yeah. and hence the discomfort goes down significantly. Some of the concentrated insulins, like U300 Glargine, for instance, uh, they change their pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic properties as well. So the same Glargine molecule, when concentrated, will last for much longer have a flatter profile and reduced risk of hypoglycemia. So concentrated insulins, uh, I, I believe that they answer the four C's, which is cost, compliance, convenience, and you know, comfort. Okay, uh, so my next question to you would be, what are the approaches would you suggest for obese people to avoid the risk of developing diabetes? Absolutely, you know, obesity is pre-diabetes, uh, one of the biggest uh, risk factors for developing diabetes. And not all patients with weight uh, challenges necessarily have diabetes. Uh, but I think that, you know, pre-diabetes and obesity are really the window where we can make the maximum change mm -hmm. so that we can prevent the risk of diabetes down the line. So uh, patients who have uh, weight challenges, they should be focusing on lifestyle modifications. Uh, diet plays a very, very key role in uh, reducing the challenges of weight. Especially Indians, when we tend to gain weight, we tend to gain it in the, you know, the waist region. Visceral adiposity is very high, which in turn increases the insulin resistance. And not just that, the activity part becomes very important as well. So behavioral modification is very crucial. Uh, we're now also looking at medications for weight loss. Um, so some, some of these agents, which have been previously used for diabetes, are also showing promise in weight loss. So uh, I think these are fascinating developments, and uh, prevention is really the key for obese patients. All right. Uh, so, Doctor, what are the recent advances in insulin pen devices? 
So some of the, uh, you know, both in India as well as in the uh, Western countries, uh, they've made very good improvements. First of all, whenever we would think insulin previously, we would think of a vial and syringe, right. and, you know, that's what we would, yeah. even when we tell our patients, they remember that Dadi Ma was syringe mm -hmm. ke leti thi mm -hmm. injection. But the pens have completely changed the way we have been managing. So pens are very simple. Mm -hmm. The cartridge pen fills uh, make the cost of therapy also much cheaper. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, disposable flex touch pens uh, have very little resistance. So giving the injection has never been simpler. Uh, the newer pens that are coming out in the market, those that are already available in the developed world, uh, so there's one called MyPen, for instance, which actually constantly monitors the temperature of the cartridge, making sure that the insulin has not gone bad. Yeah. You know, in a country like India, if we leave it out in the dashboard of the car, yeah. by the time you come back, maybe the insulin efficacy has right. gone down. It will also remember how much insulin dose was given and at what time. So the timing also gets registered, communicates Bluetooth uh, to your phone as well, right. so that patients sometimes they feel, did I take that insulin or not? They can just check on the pen. Right. So those are very good delivery devices. Uh, down the line in India, we'll have patch pumps as well. Okay. So instead of using a syringe or a mm -hmm. pen, uh, there'll be a, a patch pump, and you can just press a button on it, and it will give the insulin. So that will be a very yeah. good improvement I as well. I think that's really great. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you so much for the interview. It was a pleasure having you here. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you. Yeah.